guys probably recognize this guy right here, Bill Maher. He's been a stand-up comedian for decades, but he's also most famous for his late-night news career, now host of HBO's Real Time. But starting first as host of ABC's Politically Incorrect, a show in which he was controversial and unapologetic in his views. In fact, less than one week after 9-11, in a climate of pure fear and hysteria, he said this. We have been the cowards, lobbing cruise missiles from 2,000 miles away. Absolutely. That's cowardly. That, that is a Staying family. in the airplane yes. when it hits the building. That is Say what family. you want about it, not you know, cowardly. Of course, this was a truth that ABC just couldn't handle, and they decided to fire him because of it. Oh, but he's made up for it tenfold since then by kissing up to the establishment and his corporate masters. In fact, he's pulled a 180. You see, now he loves drones. He says they're cheaper, they kill less people. He even said, why, it's a bad, why is it a bad thing that it's like playing a video game? Bill loves drones so much, in fact, he's even joked about killing protesters with them. At a recent foreign policy speech, Obama was interrupted multiple times by Medea Benjamin, co-founder of Code Pink. And Bill Maher took to Twitter right away, saying, if you shut up, lady, he's answering your question. Maybe one more drone strike. Yeah, man, so funny to joke about killing dissenters with hellfire missiles, huh? But it's not just drones that he's selling now. It's Islamophobia. Check it out. Because they're violent, because they threaten us, and they are threatening. They bring that desert stuff to our world. I said the same thing Friday night. You know, we don't threaten each other. We sue each other. That's the sign of civilized people. <laughs> when you hear, you know, the, the off refrain from American Muslims and the vast majority of American Muslims, you know, abhor this kind of stuff, you know, they will say, look, Islam is a religion of peace. Do you buy that? Yeah, they blow you up. There's a PC over there. There's a PC over there. There's a PC over there. He recites this type of rhetoric ad nauseum. And when guests attempt to bring up to Bill that hypocrisy and extremism is found across all religions, he quickly shuts down the debate with a smarmy, smug attitude and calls it nothing more than liberal BS. In fact, he's even gone as far as saying that, quote, most Muslims think it's okay to kill someone if they insult the prophet. And that's a big problem. That's a clash of civilizations. Really, Bill? Most Muslims around the world support killing human beings if the prophet Muhammad's criticized? Hmm. But I guess his anti-Muslim stance makes more sense when you hear what he has to say about Palestine. In an op-ed for the Huffington Post, he wrote that, quote, 600,000 Palestinian refugees should have been more mature enough to move on the way the Jews did. Yeah, dude, Palestinians just need to grow up. They need to waltz out of that open-air prison and just move on with their lives, right? But if that's not offensive enough, just wait. Because in addition to occupation, Maher supports Stasi-like surveillance, too. Just recently on his show, he said, I'm okay with surveillance now that Obama's in office. I'm not saying to look in your emails is the right thing. I'm just saying I'm not going to pretend it's because I'm brave. It's because I'm scared. So let me get this straight. Bill Maher's so terrified of an invisible threat of terrorism, which, by the way, are statistically less likely to die from the new arm of bee sting, that he's willing to give up all of his civil liberties just so he can sleep well at night. Grow up, man. Your complete trust in Democrats isn't going to matter when the same spying program's adopted by the next Republican president. Although that doesn't matter to people like Bill Maher, because his purpose, like that of John Stewart or Stephen Colbert, is to be a lackey for the Democratic Party. Hell, he even used his stand-up comedy tour as a giant political ad for Obama. I would like to tonight announce a donation to the Obama Super PAC, which has the very unfortunate tongue twister name, Priority USA Action. I know, it was named by Borat. <laughs> but tonight, I would like to give that PAC one million dollars. Yep, Bill Maher presented a giant cartoon check for a million dollars to Obama while fear-mongering to his captive audience about why there's no other choice than to support a war criminal. And any time there's a real change amassing, Maher arrogantly rejects it, once referring to Occupy Wall Street members as, quote, just a bunch of douchebags who think throwing a chair through the Starbucks window is going to bring on the revolution. Yeah, Bill. Because you know what is going to bring on the revolution? Giving millions of dollars to perpetuate endless war, the erosion of rights, and a climate of fear and hatred for one another. 
How far you've come, Bill, from the days of actually speaking controversial truths to becoming no nothing more than an establishment puppet. Keeping the masses laughing and superficially informed, right? Hey, whatever keeps the country divided and the money flowing.